Resilient, diversified, strong. We're here today because we are resilient. And because we're resilient, we'll be here tomorrow. We are resilient. 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 We are diversified. It is vital to be diversified. It's essential to be diversified. 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 We are strong. We are strong. We are strong. Resilience diversified strong. Resilience diversified strong. Twenty seventeen was a difficult and challenging year. Our people are truly the heart and soul of our organization. And we feel that our communities are part of our family. And when we go through tragic events, such as what happened in Sutherland Springs, our hearts and the effort and the love that we pour out as a result is just why we exist as an organization and who we are. It's the most important thing to us. Not only was it difficult for us to go through these tragic experiences in Sutherland Springs, but we had to work together through the sudden loss of two very dear uh, employees, Demetra Strait and Neil Barfield. And it was painful and it was tough. But together, through the support and the love of the, the GBC family, I truly feel like we created bonds and it strengthened us in very unique and profound ways. Hurricanes in the territory, over 17,000 meters are out. As I knew the storm was coming, I'm driving from sunlight into, into darkness, so that's when we knew it was getting real. You're driving down a highway and it's dark, and you think it's a mud puddle, but it's a river. But your adrenaline's pumping so hard, it's just like, where do you want me to go next? A lot of employees would have said, I'd rather stay home. They didn't, even when their own homes were being damaged by the hurricane. We had a heightened sense of responsibility. Let's take it head on, let's take this on. Now the hurricane made landfall on August 25th, but it reached into GVC service territory. Uh, early morning on the 26th, that's when we call into action our emergency operations plan and uh, folks throughout the organization began to get prepared for what was ultimately ended up being a historic event for GVEC. The, the number of outages that GVEC experienced at the high point was just over uh, 17,000 meters, which is about 20% of GVEC service territory. This is when the true GVEC team came together, each individual doing whatever they needed to to do to get the job done. Uh, ultimately, it took us about five days to get all meters restored, with the exception of a few that we could not get to because of flood water. Uh, but it was uh, incredible how quickly uh, we were able to get all of those meters restored given the damage that had been done to our system. Our linemen, uh, they, they truly uh, are the heroes of GBEC, especially when you have events like this. And one of the things I could not have been more proud of was how we as a team uh, came together after all power was restored to make sure that we had all of our internet customers uh, back up in service as quickly as possible as well. Uh, you can't help but feel a sense of uh, accomplishment uh, and a, a sense of pride uh, in the organization for what uh, everyone uh, was able to do during that massive storm. As Hurricane uh, Harvey developed in the Gulf, we were very confident because we knew that our, that our folks had developed a very strong system. We knew they were prepared, but the teamwork is the important thing. To react to it as quickly and as completely and to get the membership uh, back uh, in as quickly as they did, we're quite proud of that fact. It's a level of service that we've been able to develop, uh, and it's mainly because of the teamwork and the cohesiveness. Great job from, from our folks. Our culture is resilient. We are resilient because we don't give up. Resilience propels reliability.
The key elements that led to the success of withstanding Hurricane Harvey was obviously planning and, and designing a strong, resilient electric infrastructure over the years, and preparing, uh, so practicing drills as we move into the storm season, and then obviously responding you know, whenever the events occur. And when you have great employees that are passionate about serving and passionate about restoring power or internet services, uh, you know, that, that part becomes the easy piece. GBC, it, we're serious about maintenance. Over the course of 2017, we inspected over 12,000 of our electric distribution poles. We cleared over 800 miles of, of right-of-way. And then not only that, we actually go through based upon our pole inspections and we change out poles that fail. Uh, and we changed out close to 600 poles in 2017. We had some major milestone accomplishments with uh, in our communications projects. Uh, we built uh, from Gonzales to Coconut Tower. Uh, we built uh, from Nixon to Nixon Interchange, and we built fiber to our NOPAL substation. All of that encompassed about 20 plus miles of, of core network fiber infrastructure that will serve us well into the future with building a reliable and resilient electric grid, but also providing us off ramps for fiber to the home projects in the near future. The consumers who were a part of an outage for the year, they were out on average an hour and 18 minutes. Our internal goal is an hour and six minutes. As a system average, uh, we averaged the consumer was out for about an hour and 34 minutes. And then the frequency, if you were part of an outage, on average you were out about 1.21 times for the course of 2017. The benefits of the metrics that we use to track reliability, it really tells us how efficient our system is operating. And not only that, but it provides us a roadmap for areas of improvement. Uh, when we're not meeting those goals, it helps us dig into the details and determine where uh, our system isn't performing to a higher standard. It is vital to be diversified. Our investments are protected by being diversified. Diversity increases our value. As you look back over the history of GVEC, traditionally we have been uh, an electric cooperative. That's what we've done. We provided uh, electric service. That is something that uh, we are working hard to change at GVEC. And as you look at uh, how the electric industry is changing uh, and the need for further diversity, uh, GVEC is stepping up to the plate. Our, our board has been uh, uh, very active in creating this uh, future direction of GVEC and being more than just the electric cooperative, but more so in a cooperative that provides electric internet and beyond the meter services. As you look at uh, GVEC and the electric infrastructure that uh, how much fiber optics that we had already installed is what's making it possible for us to bring this high speed uh, fiber to the home internet service to our members. In 2017, uh, we've uh, invested another $10 million in fiber to the home technologies in portions of our service territory and in selected areas. Uh, well, that's uh, about another 5,000 passings, so we're passing another 5,000 homes and businesses. And that brought our total number of passings to about 8,000 at the end of the uh, year. And we will be investing in areas uh, around Gonzales, uh, Shiner, uh, Quero in 2018, and ultimately having uh, a total number of passings of around 12,000 by the end of the year. Uh, most of our customers today are, are served by uh, wireless uh, internet access, I meaning they have an antenna at their home that uh, points back to one of our tower sites. In April 2018, GBEC uh, revised its speed plans for internet access, allowing us to encompass the uh, 16 megabit per second and 25 megabit per second uh, speed plans for our wireless side, as well as uh, uh, bringing in small commercial and enterprise plans that allows us to customize our internet access specifically for those commercial accounts. In 2017, uh, uh, we had to make a, a difficult but necessary decision for GVEC. Uh, we had been in the appliance business uh, since 1998, uh, really making a, a strong effort to bring that service uh, out into the GVEC service territory. That segment of our business was continuing to become more and more competitive. The big box stores uh, had gotten involved uh, with appliance sales, and even more so, appliances were being sold over the internet. And so the competition 
for appliances had gotten to a point where we just simply were not able uh, to recover our investment in that particular segment. Ultimately closed all of our showrooms at the end of uh, uh, December 31st, uh, 2017. With the uh, transition uh, out of appliances in 2017, our other services uh, with uh, heating and air conditioning systems, our solar systems, uh, really did well. GVC Home has been selling uh, solar systems for quite some time now. Uh, one of the areas, though, that we've continued to push for is to bring all of that service in-house. Uh, we've brought on uh, electricians. We have those electricians on staff who are able to install the solar systems themselves. So it's a full turnkey uh, relationship that GVEC has with its members. By the end of 2017, GVEC had over 1,200 rooftop solar systems installed on its system. That number makes GVEC the highest concentration of solar among all cooperatives in the state of Texas. That's uh, something that we're very proud of and uh, uh, see a lot of opportunity uh, moving forward. In December of 2017, GVC reached a major milestone when it completed the SunHub Generation Station, its first ever local renewable energy project. The project is located on Highway 90A between Seguin and Gonzales, and it's comprised of about uh, 6,500 panels, which are estimated to produce 4 million kilowatt hours of renewable energy onto the grid each year. The completion of this facility made it possible for GVC to launch the SunHub Community Solar Program. It gives our members the option to purchase uh, 100 to 500 kilowatt hour blocks of electricity on their electric bill each month, and they can lock in that rate for up to a year. Within the first two months of rolling out the SunHub project, uh, we had over 100 members uh, sign up, and that number continues to grow today. The board is very proud of the fact that we were able to, uh, to participate in the Community Electric Project, our Sun Hub Project. Pleased that, uh, that we are one of the few that have uh, those types of facilities. The Sun Hub Project uh, also helped us control uh, some of the transmission and distribution costs, so it, it serves uh, as an additional benefit to just the power that it generates. On a national basis, this is gaining a lot of interest and there's a lot of promise in the future for uh, solar generation. We look forward to the challenges because there's always a new way to do things and, uh, and to make things better. Uh, and I, I think uh, that's exciting. It came about because a member spoke up and, uh, and, the board, and the board listened. And we appreciate that. And we certainly listen to the members because uh, we work for them. It is necessary to be strong. Our position, our team, our members are strong. Working together makes us stronger. Neighbors Helping Neighbors is what a cooperative does. It's what a cooperative is and it's what it means. And uh, so we definitely value that concept and it allows us to stay in touch with our members and make the quality of life better for us all in the Guadalupe Valley. One of the programs that we have that is really impactful to the communities we serve is our Power Up program. In 2017, there was over $360,000 given away through the grant which brings the total since 2012 to over $1.9 million. 20% of the Power Up funds are offered for our members in need of financial assistance with their electric bill. In 2017, we were able to offer over $71,000 in financial assistance to our members. That brings our total since 2012 to over $457,000 for our members. New for this year was a Power Up workshop. It was a great time that we had at our Western Operations Center in Seguin, where uh, many non Profit organizations joined us and they learned things like how to put together a application packet for the Power Up grant, how to build a budget and a timeline for those grants, what is the proper documentation that we need along with eligibility requirements. And so we hope that they walked away with some great information and really saw that the process for applying for Power Up grants is really easy and we hope to see more participation in the future from them. We really do strive to do as much as we can for the communities that we serve. And in 2017, um, that was apparent in a few of our youth programs uh, that we offer each year. Uh, for instance, 
Louis the Lightning Bug, our safety mascot, he went buzzing around our service territory in 2017 and met with over 4,000 second graders to teach them electrical safety. And that's always a fun time we have with our kids, um, as well as providing that important message on safety. We were also able to give away $15,000 in scholarships for our high school students to go on to higher education. And one of the projects that is near and dear to us is the annual Hot Shots Fish Fry and Reunion for the Seguin Area Chamber of Commerce. And it's a time where our cook team goes out and we serve about 1,500 plates to the community. It raises a lot of funds for the chamber and we're just happy and proud to be a part of that each year. One of our favorite ways to serve our communities is to better serve our members. In 2017, we were able to introduce a new program called prepaid billing. And that's a program where you can use your credit card or your debit card, and you can pay for as much energy as you want to consume at any interval you want to consume. Also in 2017, we provided nearly 70,000 of our members with the ability to use our text power service. And text power is an outage texting service where you can report outages as well as get the status of your outage and the restoration time. So it's an easy and convenient way to do business with us. And we're always looking for ways to help our members uh, save time and money. And so we thought this would be a great step to take for them. At GBEC, we adhere to a long-term financing plan that helps us have top financial performance and maintain a respected industry position. Year after year, we're able to go into the markets, obtain short-term and long-term financing at very, very low cost which over the years have saved us literally millions of dollars in financing costs. This in turn helps us to achieve the capital we need for system improvement projects, building resiliency and redundancy into the electric system, our fiber to the home expansion, our ability to build and launch a solar facility, diversified products that we offer to our members. All these things flow from having a strong financial plan that allows us to maintain uh, very strong credit ratings. 2017 uh, GVEC financials, which include GVEC, GVEC Home, and GVEC.net, total sales were $229,531,000. Our expenses were $214,803,000, leaving us a margin of $14,700,000. GVC's financial rating for the year remained strong. We maintain the AA minus rating with Standard & Poor's and was reaffirmed with the Fitch Agency for a F1 plus rating. Our debt to service coverage ratio was 3.17 and our equity to asset ratio was 52%. A strong financial position as far as the members are concerned is important because we're able to purchase power in a positive way and to offer different goods and services to our members and the communities that we serve. We endured a lot in 2017. Basically, you're one, we're one big family here. Tragedy strikes or whatever, everybody pulls together. We are strong. We're strong because of the challenges that we've gone through, and we've come out stronger on the opposite end. You end up creating a much stronger bond in, in those trenches of a tragedy or you know a hurricane. Gratitude from the members was just, that was our fuel. That kept us going family, you know, those are my brothers out there. But then once you get it all back on and you're driving home in the middle of the night and the lights are on, you just think, wow, I'm responsible for this. Not only strong with our reputation, but as a family. There's no culture like I've seen at GVC. From the cooperative standpoint, from management standpoint, I mean, they really take good care of the employees. These are exciting times uh, for GVEC. I am proud of the 
the employees. I'm, I'm proud of the accomplishments that we had in 2017, and I uh, am uh, excited about the vision that we have set forth before us, and I hope the members of GVEC are as well. Resilient, diversified,